Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pain With Me. I hope you're doing all amazing. I'm so happy to be with you on this beautiful Sunday. Um, let's get started. So this time I'm painting the beautiful and lovely um, Anna. He, her username is uh, Magic Alien and I've been following her for quite a while. She's just so freaking pretty and um, when she posted that photo I was like oh my gosh I have to paint you can I paint you and she said yeah of course so um, as you can see this time I didn't start with my usual burnt sienna I used this um, fuchsia slash magenta color um, just to change things a little bit because I feel like if I always use the same method, which it's completely fine, I know a lot of painters do that obviously, but since I'm still growing and learning and experimenting, I just want to try new things. Um, and I also like the overall um, feeling that it, it gives to the painting. It gave that really pinky background and I just loved it. Um, so I'm starting with the shadows. Oh my gosh, this picture. Ugh. I loved it, but I knew it was going to be a challenge to paint this. Like, I knew it because I've said it a lot of times, shadows are so hard to paint. Do you guys remember that photo that went viral? It was a dress, some people saw it um, white and blue, or not white and yellow, and then other people was like blue and black or something like that. So, well, that probably has like a lot of explanations, but that is also because some colors look different when they're next to another. I wish I could find a little video that was... If I find it, I'll put it up here because it was very interesting. I was like, oh my god, that cannot be the same shade. But anyways, so <clears throat> what I did... Um, this might be cheating, but it helped me a lot actually. So I put her photo on Photoshop and um, I chose the color picker tool. Uh, especially for the shadows and that helped me uh, see the color of the shadows way better. We actually used to do this in college. I had this teacher, um, I hated her so much, mm, I cannot explain and I don't hate a lot of people so anyway she was horrible but she was a great painter. So um, she gave us like a little paper with some different colors and you would point that paper towards what you were painting so that will give you more you will see the color the real color much better um, you can do that if you make like a little hole in a paper and you see through the hole the call that you're trying to paint um, because it isolates it it's way way easier to understand what color you're trying to reach so that's what i was doing basically but it was still very hard because again i just struggled with shadows a lot i tend to <laughs> i tend to avoid them that's why i'm painting this just to get out of my quote unquote comfort zone even though it's still something that i really like to paint but anyways um back to the painting so um, i'm just going back to her features and adding the main light uh, colors um, onto her face. I think I screw up a little bit on her mouth at some point because I made her her teeth going forward a little bit so she looked a little bit like like this. Since I started the first layer with Galkid, which um, it's a medium that makes the process way faster, I'm able to remove paint on the second layer so that is really good. It's like a little, it's like if you're painting digitally but you know traditional a little bit kind of. Uh, you'll see me remove some of the background and some mistakes that I make. I need to figure out a way to find a great lighting because the lighting was changing the whole time, but I just really, really enjoy painting with natural light. The sunlight, it just gives me life, uh, but it's pretty annoying to see the process right now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> I just need to find some great lighting, that's all.
I mentioned this in my previous video and very briefly um, and I don't know if I should because it's still not done but I really want to start my Patreon because I don't want to post uh, an exclusive video on Patreon per month and I think it would be great for you guys if you either want to support me which that would be amazing and second if you want to improve uh, your skills or you want to learn new things that I just don't say here it will be more in depth and more technical and I will also love to just talk about art or anything uh, with you guys that would be so cool about a career or how to make prints or how to make um how to sell a, a painting or how to start a painting i don't know whatever you guys want to ask me um but still on the works so i'll let you know when it's done <laughs> in case you're interested but well, no pressure of course at all <laughs> So here I'm for example removing some of the background because I just didn't know what to do. Um, I was looking at her at the reference photo and the background that she's in is I think she's like inside a curtain and I liked it but I just didn't want to follow the photograph just like like it is. I wanted to have a little bit of freedom and I just wanted to add some of my my style I guess. So I moved on to the hair <laughs> which by the way blonde hair I never really do blonde hair because it's hard to do um, but I was pleasantly surprised. I instead of using the cadmium yellow which is a very very deep well primary yellow primary yellow. I used the Naples yellow um, from Gamblin and this helped a lot with the hair because blonde hair has a lot of greens and it's not that orange and a warm tone is more cool tone, especially her hair. Also, I was trying to mimic the background a little bit with the um, with the leaves and I didn't like it so I just moved on. I was getting frustrated so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna paint something else. It's very good to work on two projects at the same time because you can go back to the painting with fresh eyes. So I just was trying to relax and just paint some eyes and yeah. Okay, so back to the painting. This is the third or fourth day. I really like how it turned out. I think the colors really balance the portrait. Um, I was just a little bit scared of adding too much and since there's a lot going on on her face, she literally has like shadows on her face, I didn't want to do like a crazy background with a lot of stuff. I wanted to make it plain. I think it's very important to the composition of the painting. I think that's why some paintings they appeal to us more than others because of the composition and because they're balanced. Also on her t-shirt, uh, she had a little sun, so I decided to draw like a little moon. It looks like a like a wanky sea, but whatever. <laughs> I thought it looks good. Um, and yeah, and then I have my hidden messages for me and uh, for anybody that I like to write very badly <laughs> but i yeah i just really like to do those um so yeah this is done um damn even though i was really scared and i didn't like it how it and how i started i i'm proud of how it turned out i know it, it's not like amazing i'm always saying that because when i was in college teachers tend to criticize your work a lot so yeah maybe that's why i say all the things Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. I hope you guys like it and thank you so much for joining me in another video of this. I just love you so much and I love reading your comments. Yay! <laughs>
you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys very soon. Mwah.